Hello everyone, welcome to Belle's Books. I'm Carly and yet again I'm doing another vlog because this was requested by the lovely Simon Savage. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Today is Friday and that is the day that I don't work at my day job. It's not PhD day, but also I've got lots of errands to do today. So I'm sat at my desk. My, <laughs> this is actually a book trolley, but I'm using it as a dumping ground for current books I'm using for my PhD. So it's very precarious. So at the moment I am printing off my current PhD chapter that I got feedback on yesterday. So I had a meeting with both of my supervisors yesterday um, over the old teams and my supervisor has sent me um, my chapter with lots of annotated feedback which is great so I am that's what that noise is I'm currently printing that bad boy off I'll tell you how long it is I'm trying to use the mouse and the mouse isn't plugged in oh dear right um I think it's at 36 pages for chapter three right now and it's a hot mess I've got a lot of work to do on <laughs> So I'm putting off the feedback so I can read through. I had a quick scan through yesterday after she sent it. So I'm going to have a quick um, look at that again later and make some notes of what I've got to do. I have made my to-do list for today in my academic planner, which is n most of this list is not academic stuff. It's all to do other people's shopping. So um, the other thing that I do is I volunteer for Age UK and... I volunteer for Cambridgeshire Libraries. Even though I work now for Cambridgeshire Libraries on a Saturday, I work in a library. But before that, I have been a volunteer for Cambridgeshire Libraries doing their library at home service. And I have been doing that since I was 16. I am now 41. Um, so I, today, will go and pick up the books that I have um, picked out for all of my readers. So I have four readers that I visit. And they're basically mostly elderly and housebound people and I take them library books. So I've got to pick up all the books from the library that I picked in the week um, last Saturday. And for Age UK I do shopping for elderly people. So i got to go and do all the shopping. Um, so that's two people I have to shop for. Three people I've got to take books to today. Yeah, that's it and do some PhD work. Also, I have an event at one o'clock that I had completely forgotten about until I logged onto my emails. Um, it's an event uh, run by the University of Leicester and it is um, two artists that I'm currently working with on a separate event. They are doing something today, so I need to log on and, um, and watch them do their thing because they're gonna be doing something similar for me later on for Birkbeck Arts Week. I'll speak about that later. So today I'm feeling a bit fraught. I've got all the things to do. First, I'm having a nice cup of tea in my gardening mug. Look at how cute that mug is. It's a greenhouse with all of the plants. Got that for my birthday from Dan. But the chapter is still printing. I mean, I have the worst printer in the world. It's very slow. It's like it's from the 90s. It just goes... As you can probably hear. So I'm gonna leave that going, drink my tea. And the point of this actually, <laughs> I should tell you, talk about some books. Um, tonight is Cozy Reading Night. It's the last of Lauren's Stay at Home Club Cozy Reading Nights. And I'm gonna participate, but um, my friend Holly is coming around tonight to sit in the garden because that's the only thing that's legal these days. So Holly's gonna come around and sit in the garden, have a fire pit, um, Dan will probably fall asleep because he's had a very busy week at work and he's exhausted, bless him. So he's been falling asleep very e very early. <laughs> so me and Holly are going to sit in the garden and read our books. Typically, I have none of the books here that I'm reading right now. These are all PhD books. Um, I am just finishing up Between the Acts by Virginia Woolf, which I'm reading for the 1900 to 1950 readathon. So I've got about... 30 pages left of that. I want to get that finished really. Today I also just started Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller, which I'm reading for the Women's Prize shortlist. So I'm trying to get work my way through the shortlist. 
and the other one what was the other thing oh and the book the new book club book uh, for my in real life book club is the doll factory by elizabeth mcneil which is rather unfortunately there's a big stack of books behind my my camera um it's right at the bottom so i've got to do some kind of jenga business and hook that out so i can start reading that so that's three books that i want to um get a little way into today i'm saying this like this is going to happen when i've got all of this stuff to do anyway i'm ambitious i've got the whole weekend i'm gonna i'm gonna read over the weekend and i will vlog it so that's what's going on here so i'm gonna drink my tea grab my print out go and do everyone's shopping and i'll speak to you in a bit I'm really sorry about the shaky camera work. Um, I am walking to my mother's to pick up the car to get the shopping. So I'm walking across the common, which is very nice. I've just seen some excellent dogs and they ran up to me. You know when dogs <laughs> run up to you, they're well excited like, a human, hi, human, fuss me. That just happened, makes my day. I love it when dogs come and say hello. They're massive as well. So I'm walking to get the car for my mum because I had a car accident a few weeks ago. My car was a total write off and I haven't got a new one yet. So I'm currently without car. And every time I have to go and do all the uh, shopping for old people, I've got to go and borrow my mum's car. So that's what I'm doing. Luckily she's obliging, she doesn't mind. So I'll go and pick up the car, do the shopping. Also, I'm listening to an audio book. I'm listening to The House at Riverton by Kate Morton. Very much enjoying it. Historical fiction. Love a bit of historical fiction in two timelines. So that's good. And it's getting a bit juicy now. I've only got like five hours left. It's a massive one. It's one for like 18 hours long. So very much enjoying that. And I'm getting out of breath already. Blimey, this is no good. <laughs> Saturday evening. I've done a terrible job of vlogging because I didn't vlog last night when Holly came around to sit in the garden. We didn't actually do any reading to be fair because I thought Dan might fall asleep. He didn't. Um, we got a takeaway and we just sat chatting so I didn't film any of that. And today I've been at work in the library which was nice. It was fairly busy. Nice to see people in. And I always feel like knackered after I've been in the library for the day. And I have the most enormous hair because I walked home in the rain. So I dropped the car off at my mum's and then I walked back from work and it was very, it's that frizzy hair rain. So this has happened, this enormous bouffant. So, you know, me and Katie are, here she is, just chilling out, sitting on the bed. Because Dan's, Dan's got the TV on downstairs and um, I think he wants to watch the election results and I can't, I just can't deal with that right now. So I've come upstairs, Katie has just had her dinner, so she wants to get into a post-meat nap. She's making herself comfortable on my dressing gown. Can you sit down or what? Sit down, raggedy bird. <laughs> sit down, Katie. <laughs> Oh dear, she's an old girl. Um, and I was listening to my audiobook. Oh, Katie, 
Katie um, has a lot of medical problems and she sometimes <laughs> she sometimes looks like she's about to have a fit because she does have um, she's on medication f to stop her fitting and sometimes her head does this which is quite worrying but you don't she doesn't really go into a full fit thankfully um, anyway so I was listening to my audiobook on the way home when I walked back from work and I've only got like 45 minutes left of that and I really want to finish it because I am so invested. This is The House at Riverton by Kate Morton. I'll put a picture here. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's like I say, I've been listening to this for eight. It's a big old book. It's 18 hours worth. And I've just got this 45 minutes left. So I thought I'd sit up here. Um, I think Dan's going to make dinner in a minute and I'm going to listen to my audio book because I want to finish that. And I thought, while well, Katie has a nice nap on my lap, I might do a bit of my embroidery on this mushroom that I started ages ago for the Stitch and Listen readathon. And this is as far as I got. I've only done two colours, so I thought I might <laughs> do a bit of my mushroom, li finish listening to my audio book while Katie has a snooze. Mm. And then go and have some dinner. And also today, well, I don't know if I'll get it finished. I just really want to finish this. I've got 30 pages left of Between the Acts by Virginia Woolf. Um, so I want to get that finished. And I don't think I'm going to start this today. I might start this tomorrow because I started... Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller yesterday or the day before and I only read the first chapter so I want to carry on with this and um, so I might read a bit of the Virginia Woolf a bit of this and finish my audiobook which I can't really film because my audiobook is on my phone so I'm going to do that and I'm going to check back in with you afterwards and Katie will probably be asleep by that point <laughs> just finished listening to The House at Riverton by Kate Morton. Oh, what an ending. I really enjoyed that. Like, it was a long book, so I've been listening to it the whole of April. And um, it, it was kind of really slow paced in the beginning. It did, it felt, felt a little bit rushed at the end, um, where she was trying to tie everything up. Um, so it got pacier at the end. But I really enjoyed that. I really liked it. Um, it's quite thrilling. Bit of a mystery there. I didn't do very well with my... I don't understand how my hair like, has got even more enormous when I've just been... Look at it. What is this? Like, I've just been sat here and it's got... It's like tripled in size. Now, I do this thing that when my hair gets wet, I... You know, Monica, you know that episode where Monica in Friends goes to Barbados and the hair gets bigger and bigger? That's what this, that's what this does. But honestly, this is just ridiculous. Anyway, I didn't do very well with my mushroom. I did a little bit more of the white on the base of the stem. But then, <laughs> I got a knot in it and I haven't got any scissors right next to me and Katie as predicted, is asleep. Well, she was asleep. Hello. Oh, that's a claw in my arm. Don't pull.
on my jumper, you nutbag. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Katie has made herself comfortable, so I didn't feel like I could get up and go and find some scissors to cut my knotted thread. So I just put my mushroom down and left it, carried on listening. So now my book is finished and I'm kind of reeling from the ending. So dinner's nearly ready. I'm going to go downstairs. Dan's made some form of pasta bake, which he said he's put on a lot of cheese. And now, because I finished that and I feel a bit bereft, I want to watch something set in a big house, a bit Downton Abbey, a bit upstairs, downstairs kind of thing. That uh, house at Riverton did give me... Um, what's it called? The Remains of the Day vibes. And in the author's note at the end, she did say that was an influence on her, um, as well as lots of other things. So, and I really find that interesting. I love it when there's an author's note and they talk about their interests. I mean, you get that from the book anyway, and uh, their influences. Oh, God. Um, but it did make me think of uh, Remains of the Day, which is one of my favourite books of all time. So I feel like I, I want to... Oh, and the other thing she mentioned was um, Daphne du Maurier, because she was talking about the books that she used like as research. Daphne du Maurier, Myself When Young, which I have not read. So I kind of want to pick that up now. Any excuse for another Daffers? Um, I have it. I've got all of the Daphne's. Um, so mm, I might switch up my TBR because that will probably fall in the 1900 to 1950 uh, readathon. So I might do that. Anyway, I'm going to take my enormous hair downstairs and eat a load of pasta. I will check in with you a bit later. <laughs> Virginia, I love the fruit stack. Thanks for that contribution, Dan. <laughs> you beast. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> oh, it is Sunday morning. This is my breakfast. I got some pancakes, some fruits, some coconut yogurt, and I am just finishing off the Virginia Wolf, which Dan models for me. <laughs> Thank you. I've got 10 pages left. I'm going to read that, eat this, and I'll check in in a minute. So it's Sunday afternoon now. I've actually managed to put some makeup on, which is why I'm in front of the camera, not behind it like I was with my pancake stack. Um, I finished Between the Acts by Virginia Woolf and what I'm going to do is just write up some notes on it because um, I will probably refer to this in my PhD. So I'm just going to make some notes on um, my Notion page. I've started doing that. So usually I would write up book reviews in my, like, my bullet journal i have a book bullet journal um and i might still do that but when it's for things that i'm using for my research i tend to set up a notion page and i'll put in notes on on my notion page just so that then it's easy for me to like cut and paste into my phd chapter so i'm going to do that i've already started i've made notes on the first half so i'm just going to make some notes while it's still fresh in my mind and then I want to go outside because it's really nice today. It's stopped raining and um, it feels really warm. So I might go into the front garden and do a bit of weeding because it's pretty weedy in there. And I know that Katie would like to go outside and have a mooch in the front garden. So I might do that. And also Dan wants to go for a walk somewhere. So he wants to go for a walk that will end in a beer garden. So we might go for a walk to the next village and go to the pub there if we can get in and then later on I will carry on reading Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller which I haven't read much of yet like I still haven't got past the first I read the first chapter um, I mean great opening someone dies so that's exciting <laughs> um 
So yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of work first and then go out in the garden. <laughs> straight through the water and that is scary and also fun so I'll film me going over the ford Woo! <laughs> So Dan's awake now and I can talk again. Um, I had all these big plans for when we got back from the pub, but we were so exhausted, hence why Dan fell asleep. <laughs> um, I, I don't know whether it's just like I said to him, it might be because we're not used to going out in, anymore. And it was a fair old walk, wasn't it? How long did it take us to get there? About an hour? About an hour, yeah. An hour to walk there. We had a big lunch, as you saw some beer and then an hour walk back and we were exhausted by the time we got back weren't we <laughs> dan thought that walk would never end um so i had all these big plans to like pot on some seedlings go back to my computer and do some more phd work and that kind of went out the window because i thought i just need to sit down eat a bakewell tart drink some tea which I did, and read a bit of Unsettled Ground. So I've read, um, I've only read like 24 pages of this, just the opening, um, but 
as I thought I would, I'm enjoying this because I've read Claire Fuller before. I find her writing very compelling. Um, and yeah, so I've just read the opening. So uh, Dot has just died and Jeannie and Julius, her 50 year old children, are kind of reeling from the aftermath of that. And you can tell like there's some, there's some secrets gonna come out. Some stuff's gonna happen. Um, I'm do I am wondering if it is gonna be in the style of uh, our endless number days where there's gonna be something pretty horrendously shocking will pop out at some point. I'm not gonna rule it out. Um, so yeah, I'm very much enjoying this. Gonna carry on with this maybe. We might watch a film. Dan might go back to sleep. He's very tired. <laughs> Katie is still asleep in my lap. She's always very tired. So I thought I'd round off the vlog here because all of my plans have gone down the toilet now. <laughs> I'm just going to stay on ensconced in my blanket on the sofa and not move for the rest of the evening, probably. Um, so a little bit of reading. We did. I'd finished Between the Acts. I finished The House at Riverton. Really enjoyed both of those. Didn't speak much about Between the Acts, but there's a lot to say about Virginia Woolf. So again, I might make a separate video about that. It links in quite nicely with my experimental uh, series because, like I said, there's a lot to talk about and I made a lot of notes um, when I was upstairs earlier. Things that I'm going to use in my research, that's all good. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye here and I will see you all next week for another video.